Well, everybody, the sun is coming up. The blackberries are blooming, and you know what that means? It's planting time. I don't know what I'm doing, but I did find a pair of matching socks and gloves today. So I think I'm gonna grow a few tomatoes. While I'm finishing this cup of coffee, I came over here to check out the potatoes before it gets started planting the tomato tomatoes. Look at how far along they've come. Isn't that just glorious and beautiful and wonderful? I mean, who thought potato plants could be so beautiful? Um, excuse me. Who's munching on you? You know, what's really fun is I don't remember what kind of potatoes I planted because I didn't label. There's probably some important information in there. Do you like my new glasses? I had to get new glasses because I bit it right in Briscoe and when I fell off, I broke my old glasses. But I didn't break my face. So I'm standing here in front of our vegetable patch. We have some landscape fabric already rolled out and what I'm gonna do is just simply space these apart, the proper amount of spacing. Um, and I've got the sprinkler going because I would like to have the ground saturated and ready for seedlings to reduce, reduce the risk of transplant shock. Generally, the best time to put your seedlings in the ground is in the evening, but I don't have that luxury of time at all this week, and this is the week that I really want to plant. So um, I'm just making do and doing my best to reduce transplant shock with a fully watered in um, garden plot before I get started. Now, earlier I was joking saying I don't really know what I'm doing. I know how to grow things, um, but on such a large scale, this is going to be this is going to be new for me on such a large scale. I started over 300 seedlings, and of course I um, trimmed them down to the ones that were the strongest, and I have a lot of tomatoes to plant. I want to grow tomatoes for um, for cooking, for slicing, for tomato sandwiches, and for preserving, um, canning, or freezing, or whatnot. Um, so I do have a lot, and you know, when you work on a large scale, that's kind of intimidating. So what I'm going to do is dig a hole, and I'm going to take off the bottom leaves all the way up as far as I can, um, and I'm going to plant it up to that depth. I'm planting a tomato, see all these little hairs right here? All of those are potentially roots, and so um, the stronger root system that you have, um, the more healthy the plant is going to be. So that is basically what I'm going to do. It's recommended to plant tomatoes between 18 and like 24 inches. I'm going to give them the 4 24 inches um, just because I plan on these, especially these are cherry tomatoes and they're indeterminate, which means that they just get enormous. And so um, the um, spacing on them is going to be 24 inches. Next, I have to think about how I'm going to stake these up, how I'm going to support this bush because it's a vining plant and that means it really wants to grow up, but it wants to grow up on something. So some people use like a, a staking trellis system. I'm going to try something called the Florida Weave. You'll see us install that. Um, it's very, very simple and it requires a minimal amount of um, purchases, basically, um, to, to support it. So I'm going to get started and we shall see how it goes. <laughs>
space roughly two feet apart. I'm going to interplant it with some basil, probably some marigold too. There's some benefits to interplanting with companion plants, especially basil and marigolds because they're strongly scented. Um, not only will that probably keep the deer away, um, but it'll um, serve as a repellent for the hornworm caterpillar. So um, this is how I did it. I laid out my landscape fabric. I cut an X into the fabric and I scooted the fabric under to make a big diamond or a big square. And then originally I was using my spade to cut the hole out, but this is pretty hard earth even though it's been tilled. And I got so tired, especially doing this all on my knees. My ankles are hurting, everything. So about halfway through, I grabbed my shovel and was just going for broke. Judson, my son, joined me out here. Um, so we planted it as deep as we could, um, pinched off the bottom leaves and planted it as deep as we could. This is a kind of an anomaly plant. This is almost one of the only plants you can plant deeper than its root ball, um, simply because those little hairs on the stalk will grow roots. I don't recommend doing that with your other plants. Um, they will, you'll rot the stem. The tomato is just built different. Um, then we planted it really deep and put the landscape fabric back onto it. Make sure that we got all the air bubbles out. When roots run into an air bubble, they will stop growing. So we don't want that. So we compacted it down in and I am watering it with the sprinkler. This is not the ideal way to water your plants. Don't take my advice, but this is the most economical option that we have for now. We are Yes, we are trying to be thrifty. <laughs> um, it may not work. We are putting ourselves at risk for enormous fungal problems with having overhead watering. Ideally, I would like several hundred feet of drip tube tubing or drip tape that simply waters the roots of the plant. Um, or we could simply hand water and just direct the, the stream of the water at the root ball. Um, but I don't have long enough hose to do that, so the sprinkler will reach for me. Um, I'm not sure when we will get drip tape. That is a hope and a prayer. Maybe if more people subscribed and watched our channel, we could get monetized. Let's just put that out there. So what I'm gonna do now is go in with some organic fertilizer and I'm gonna sprinkle it around the drip line, which is basically where the water would drip off of the leaves. What is that noise? It's like, it sounds like a chicken coughing, which is not a noise that I've ever heard. But if a chicken did cough, I think that's what it would sound like. Anyway, I'm gonna put some fertilizer on them. And then since the day is still young, it's only 10 a.m., um, I am going to move on and probably start to put up my cucumber trellis right next to it. <laughs> smells organic. So the water's going, got some fertilizer put on them. I'm gonna walk away and rest for just a second and eat some waffles. Um, and then I think I'm gonna plant some other things. Are you such a good donkey? That's Irma, just a, a running donkey in the grass. Irma. I see you. I know you're right there. Here she comes. 